Now you have to predict the product in this case you have an aniline pH NH2 is called aniline and then in this side you have an acid chloride PHCOCl and you have to you have been given some bases also given to you so you have to, to write down the product in this case one side you have amine another is acid chloride this reaction we have discussed in the chapter of acid derivative if you remember and we said acid chloride is most reactive and this is the least reactive so I can make one if I can take H plus from here base can take H plus from here and then it can act as a nucleophile so simple one can you write or not so let us take 30 seconds time yeah you are right so what you can do is you first make so you have NH2 so let us first make NH minus because I can take this base can take H plus from here and on the next step you have COCl so let us make this molecule this and you have C double bond O and Cl so this will attack this opens and the next step this returns and Cl goes so I am writing the final product basically there is no need to write all the mechanism so the product will be we will have here something like this and H and then here you will have C double bond O and this side you will have a pH group so simple are you getting let us do the next one so in this case reagent is HNO2 what will be the product you will have so you have a amine and this time amine is tertiary amine and that is important point now see we have discussed in the class if you have a primary amine in the presence of HNO2 diazonium cation will be formed if you have secondary amine in that case you will have NNO product but if you have a tertiary amine in that case NO plus that is generated for electrophile so what you have HNO2 basically gives electrophile NO plus and now NO plus does not have any chance to attack on this nitrogen because this nitrogen does not have any hydrogen so I have only one option so this nitrogen can attack inside the ring because this is a electrophile so this is the electrophile so now this electrophile can attack in the ring so now this electrophile has two options either it can attack at ortho position or it can attack at para position now this group is a big group that's why the ortho product is not the major product para product is the major product in this reaction so electrophile you know plus will attack at the para position and that will give you the major product so you have N M E and you have to attach one NO group here so simple so you see this reaction is nothing but electrophilic aromatic substitution EAS in this case electrophile is NO plus if you remember the mechanism we can generate the NO plus from HNO2 this we have discussed in the class so let us say you have HNO2 is something like this now next molecule of HNO2 can give H plus so one molecule of can act as a base another molecule can act as a acid so you have another molecule of HNO2 now this can act as a base another can act as a acid so this is acting as a base this means this can take H plus so this takes H plus from here and this goes here so you will have so this molecule becomes HNO2 plus so let me write the upper molecule so it will look something like this H O H and oxygen will contain a formal charge and then you will have N double bond O are you getting simple now in the next step you can lose H2O because H2O is good living room and that's why we have made this H2O because now H2O is good living group so it will be having simply an O double bond and here you will have one lone pair so plus so this is the step how we have generated the electrophile so these are the steps generation of electrophile generation of E plus important point we have one is acting as a base another is acting as a acid this is the important point in this reaction HNO2 one molecule of HNO2 is acting as a base another molecule is acting as like a acid let us discuss the next problem so this is a quite easy problem